Today we'll go over the top reasons why you may not want to buy a home or an investment property in the current Phoenix real estate market. You don't want to miss this one. While I can provide professional insight, it's important to note that the real estate market can change rapidly and can vary across the Phoenix metro area. That said, here comes the top reasons that now may not be the correct time for you to buy a home or an investment property here in the Valley of the Sun. By the way, my name is Sean Rogers, the lead of the Mr. Rogers Homes real estate team, and we make videos all about living in Arizona, just like this one. If you're interested in learning more, please click the subscribe button. Higher prices. The Valley of the Sun experienced a significant increase in home prices in recent years. Although they seem to be leveling off, this rise in prices might make it challenging for some buyers to find affordable options, especially in the popular areas. Inventory shortages. Believe it or not, it appears we're headed back towards limited housing inventory, which can lead to increased competition among buyers, driving prices even higher. If the supply of available homes is low, it will make it more challenging to find a suitable property. This next reason why now may not be the best time to buy a home or an investment property in the Phoenix metro area is truly important. Fluctuating market conditions. Real estate markets like life and oceans have their own ebbs and flows. So buying a home during a seller's market when demand is high may not provide the same advantages as buying during a buyer's market when supply exceeds demand. Market conditions can impact the potential for future appreciation and investment returns. Oh, if you want to make sure that you're up to date with the Phoenix real estate market, please make sure you watch our monthly snapshot videos. Climate considerations. This is a big one. Arizona is known for its hot and dry climate, and some individuals may not prefer the desert environment or may find it challenging to adjust to the extreme temperatures during the summer months. For a deeper dive on what to expect if you're thinking about making a move to Arizona, watch this video. Last but not least, of the reasons why you may not want to buy a home or an investment property in the current Phoenix real estate market. And this is actually a two for one. I'm giving you a bonus. Property taxes and maintenance costs. It's essential to consider property taxes and ongoing maintenance costs when purchasing a home. Like the air conditioning, which is a must and a close second to your private pool. Property tax rates vary across Arizona and depending on the area, they may be relatively higher compared to other regions of the United States. Hang on, I want to add one more bit of information. These reasons are not meant to discourage you from buying a home or an investment property in Arizona altogether. Rather, to highlight some factors that may influence your decision. It's crucial to thoroughly research the local market and consult with a local professional. Hello. And consider your personal circumstances and preferences before making your move. Okay, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you watch this one. Until next time, please take care. God bless America. I'll talk to you soon.